to have our New York City speaker, Christine Quinn, here with us this evening. Thank you. At the 2013 Glammys, <laughs> we, uh, first of all, you have glamorous hair, girl. Uh, I just have to tell my, you. My I'm, hairdresser, uh, David Milligan, is a good friend and he's fabulous. Well, obviously. <laughs> just had to tell you that. Um, so, as you know, with Glamour Gals, we provide ongoing complimentary makeovers and companionship to elderly women in senior homes. Why is Glamour Gals so important to you? You know, um, when I was a girl for a long time, when I was in fourth grade, my grandmother and my aunt moved in with us. And then my grandmother lived with us until I was about 15 or 16 years old, and then she had to move into a nursing home. And I remember when people or groups would come visit her, and then I would come visit, and she would be in such a great mood and be so happy and have a story to tell, and her day was brighter. So what you all are doing is exactly what people did for my grandmother, and I know the difference it makes because I know how happy it made her. And also to get to feel pretty well, it may be silly or not, but it's the greatest thing. It just makes you feel smarter and better and taller and gives you a lot of confidence and you know as we all face our challenges growing older confidence is what we need and it's also just great for younger women and girls to have that time with seniors to get their wisdom to hear their life experience to see the world in a longer view because when we're young you think every moment that something doesn't work out is the end of the world and to have, if your parents tell you, you don't listen, but no. to have a senior like that, a really wise woman, uh, that you will listen to. So uh, you're giving and the girls are also doing what happens when you give, they're getting to. Absolutely, it's so much more about, not about the, the makeovers and the manicures, no. it's, it's about the connection and the conversation. Totally. And is there a, a message that your grandmother passed on to you that you Well, uh, my grandmother was an immigrant from Ireland and she came from Ireland on the Titanic. Oh and she was one of the few third class girls who made it out alive. And she, if you asked her why, she was quoted as saying, when the other girls dropped to their knees to pray, she took a run for it. So <laughs> I think that was her big life lesson to me. Wow, that's awesome. Well, we are so honored to have you Thank here. Thank you, it's I'm honored to be here. Yeah.